Hello everyone, Spato and you're watching my channel. So today I will talk about vitamin B9 and previously I talked about vitamin B7 and in the next video I will talk about vitamin B12. So this is basically the second last video of the vitamin B. Then after the vitamin B12 I will talk about vitamin C, D, E, K. Okay. So before starting off with the presentation, please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and also you can follow my Instagram account which is healthcare for you forever. Let's get started. So what is vitamin B9? So the other name of vitamin B9 is known as folic acid and it's a water soluble vitamin. The term folate comes from the Latin folium which means leaf since it is chiefly found in many leafy plants and vegetables. Just like most B vitamins, it is used for converting food into simpler, easy to digest form that is glucose, which is necessary for energy production. Apart from energy synthesis, folic acid is extremely crucial for the power functioning of the brain and uplifting mental and emotional health. So vitamin B plays a very important role in the uh, glucose formation. Okay, so glucose formation is very much uh, important so that we get instant energy and also it is very much important for the power functioning of the brain so that it can uplift the mental and emotional okay so vitamin plays a very important role in each and every aspect of health let's move on to the next slide to talk about the vitamin d9 structure So, uh, vitamin B9 structure, as you can see, that there are various groups in this particular structure. You can see there's a carboxylate group, there's a ketone group, there's an amino group. NH2 is the amino group, and the double bond O is the keto group, and the C double O H is the carboxylate group. Okay, so this is the structure of vitamin B9. Let's move on to the next slide. Now comes the various sources of vitamin B9 and this can be found in various various fruits, vegetables like legumes, eggs, leafy greens, nuts, citrus fruits, avocados. So citrus fruit basically includes all your oranges, lemon, grapefruit. Okay? So these are the sources of vitamin B9. So if you want to enhance your vitamin B9 levels, if you want to enhance your emotional and mental health, if you want to enhance your glucose production, then you need to take vitamin B9. Okay, so these are the sources. I hope you take all of these sources to enhance your vitamin B9 levels. Okay. Now there are various benefits of vitamin B9. So, like, vitamin B9 reduces the risk of neural defects in the babies. Since uh, vitamin B9 is very important in the DNA synthesis, so if the DNA synthesis is not proper, then it can lead to neural defects in the babies. So, it's very important to take vitamin B9 in a proper amount. Beneficial in the sense of DNA, as I already told you. Okay, so. DNA synthesis is very important for the proper growth of the body, for, for the proper functioning of all the organs of the body like brain, heart, liver, kidneys, lungs. Okay. So it's very important to you know have B9 in proper levels. Improves hemoglobin levels, obviously blood provides nourishment to all parts of the body. So hemoglobin levels should be there. Uh, in a proper amount, otherwise you will not get proper nourishment, proper oxygen. Then helps to prevent cancer and heart disease. It's a very important point like cancer, usually people suffer from cancer and heart diseases. So B9 can help you to reduce the risk of cancer and heart disease. Take an proper amount. Deficiencies of vitamin B9. So it can lead to digestion problem. Okay, if it is not taken in proper amount okay and it could also lead to anemia as I already told you that it improves hemoglobin levels so if the there's a deficiency of vitamin B9 so hemoglobin levels will drop down and it will cause anemia that means there will be no proper storage of oxygen in the blood cells and that can cause a lot of weakness and tiredness okay 
then there is a hair loss also because there is no proper synthesis of DNA and so like when there is a proper protein in our body where there is proper vitamin B9 in our body then the hair synthesis takes place okay because your growth your regeneration everything takes place with the help of synthesis of DNA so it's very important to take vitamin B9 in proper levels and if you want to avoid all of these problems then take vitamin B9 with the help of the sources that I already told you in my previous slides that you need to take legumes, you need to take uh, leafy vegetables, you need to take avocado, you need to take citrus fruits like grapefruit, oranges and your lemon okay and you need to take nuts also so you need to take various kind of sources to enhance your vitamin B9 levels i hope you really like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and for more videos like this please follow my account and my youtube channel thank you so much have a good day stay safe and healthy